In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 56 through to 59. He who, he, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. As the Father sent me and I have because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your father ate the, uh, the manna, and are dead. He who eats this bread will live for ever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Yes. When we receive communion, Christ enters us. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Yes. Christ abides in us when we go to church, to the liturgy, receive Holy Communion. We who are the temple of the Holy Spirit Christ enters this temple. During this great Lent, this time of preparation, we need to focus in on us and how we have carried out the commandments of Christ. How often have we fallen short? Yes. It's a time for us to repent of our worldly ways and remember that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. When we receive communion, we must be worthy of this. Prayer and fasting is needed. And I'm not just talking about food. Fasting of the tongue is also important. Yes. How often do you think about your neighbour in an uncharitable way? How often are you involved in gossiping about your neighbour, about your workmate, Yes. During this great Lent, I urge you all to, I guess you could say, put a peg on your tongue. It's very hard. It's very hard to control your mind and the uncharitable thoughts you have. It's very hard. Fasting of food is easy, but fasting in the other ways, the way we think, the way we speak, the way we talk to other people, yes. Anything that should come out of our mouth is 
blessings. Yes. Blessing. Whatever we say should be a blessing to those who hear. Not something that brings people down. It must be lifting up. Glorifying God. We must be lifting people up to God. The way we behave ourselves, the way we treat other people, yes, in mind and in tongue, speech, must be uplifting. Silence is a better way to go. There's the old saying that I love so much and I often repeat, Yes. If you can't say any good about your neighbour, don't say anything at all. Silence. So when you're fasting during this great Lent, not only fast from food, but fast with your tongue. Give God the glory every day during this great Lent the opportunities he has given you to fast. Not only from food, but from the word of mouth. The only thing that we should be doing is praising God every day. Begging God to forgive us when we fail, because we will fail. We are human. God knows this. Yes, God does not condemn a contrite heart. Our hearts should be always contrite. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.